Good morning, my dear students. I am welcoming you back in my today's class, where I am going to teach you about verbs and its kinds. A verb is a word which is used to express an action, or state of being, or some position. They are of different types. For example. action verbs regular verbs irregular verbs auxiliary verbs phrasal verbs and b form of verbs so in today's video we are going to explain them individually one by one along with examples first let's have a look into action verbs action verbs are verbs that express an action for example run swim talk full fall sleep sing dance etc i run fast they swim in the pool she sings a song so the basically they show actions done by the noun of the sentence action verbs are of two types regular form and irregular form and each form regular and irregular can be divided into three more types see here are the action verbs of regular regular form three three types you can see each is divided into base form past form and past participle form so watched watched walk walked walked help helped help talk talked talked work worked worked love loved loved so these regular verbs change in the same way and remain the same in the past as well as in the past participle form whereas the irregular verbs like sing sang sung see saw seen drive drove driven run ran run take took taken go went gone the irregular verbs change differently and does not remain same in the past as well as in the past participle form they change differently again and again now what are auxiliary verbs we believe something is probable or possible we also use modal auxiliary talking about ability asking permission making request and offers and so on for example can could have may will shall would should might etc now auxiliary verbs are are also of two types one are helping verbs and other are modal auxiliary so the examples given below you can see are the examples of modal auxiliary verbs and the rest of the helping verbs will do in the b form of verbs now I have some examples of modal auxiliary verbs i shall go now can you speak french he can play cricket you must speak politely he will see you tomorrow they have to help you may i come in so all the highlighted words are auxiliary verbs and they all are modal auxiliaries now let's talk about phrasal verbs these verbs consist of verb plus adverb or verb plus preposition these verbs can stand alone for example look after watch out wake up broke down take off working out read out think over hand over etc so you can see in every example there is a verb along with an adverb or a preposition these all verbs are called phrasal verbs now the b form of verbs these type of verbs can be used in the following pattern they can be served as auxiliary verbs as well even these verbs are used in tenses for example with noun my father is a worker john was a teacher so the helping verbs which i was talking about earlier are these auxiliary verbs these are also known as auxiliary verbs 
and B form of verbs and uh, they can be used in the present as well as in the past form in the present form it is is and in the past form the past tense of is is was similarly for plural it is are and where now in the previous side I have shown you with noun now let's see with adjective Sonu was happy soup is tasty with preposition the books are on the table John is from America so you can see these auxiliary verbs can be used with nouns adjectives or with pronouns now students this is all about verbs and its kinds I will make another video for the another kind of verb that is transitive and intransitive verb and see you with my next video till then you do the book exercise of the chapter and revise the chapter well take care and thank you so much